would you look at this last time we were here at animal kingdom they actually didn't have the 50th banners on up and it looks like the animal kingdom ones have a nice little green tint at least from afar it looks like that welcome back to your daily dose of disney everybody i'm pretty sure they have <laughs> they have a little green tint oh yeah look this is this is odd we've got a normal 50th banner right here see that see that and then we've got a green one over here. Interesting that they uh, decided to mix them. It's like every other, we've got a regular one and then we've got a green Animal Kingdom one. Interesting choice. Kind of like it though. I don't know why any other park hasn't done that. We actually have a line for security right now in the morning. That's odd, but here's one last look at the 50th banner. See how it's green? I actually like it. Pretty cool. Coming on in at 1010 10 today, and it seems like there's a little bit more people than I've seen last time I was here about like, what was that, two weeks ago? For as many times as I do this, you would think I would remember to make a park reservation. I forgot to make it today, but um, they're always available. Make sure you do that, but we're good now. You know I need a haircut when I start wearing the, my hats to the parks, however, Obviously, we have some big news to talk about that was actually just announced a couple days ago. Expedition Everest is going to be going down for quite some time. Let's head on over there real quick. Woo! Looks like once you get in to Animal Kingdom, we don't have the normal 50th banner. We have the Disney Animal Kingdom exclusive green 50th banner. The long-awaited refurbishment for Expedition Everest might be here, finally. Disney has just announced that starting January 4th of next year, 2022, Expedition Everest is gonna be going down until about mid-April. They haven't announced yet, but I'm kind of speculating that this is because they're finally going to fix the Yeti, if you haven't known, the Yeti hasn't been working for about like 10 years, pretty much since they opened up Expedition Everest. Um, but the reason why they haven't fixed it is because the Yeti actually sits on a support beam, so they would have to have an extended refurbishment in order to fix the Yeti. We could be thinking that it could be down for maintenance, but I honestly think it's become because of the Yeti. What do you guys think? It's gonna be down for about like four months, maybe five months, um, if they don't fix the Yeti. I mean, what else could they really be doing other than general maintenance? But it seems like a pretty long closure for refurbishment to uh, not fix the Yeti. We've been waiting for this for 10 years. It has to be that. What do you guys think down below? Um, it's kind of good that it's going to be down during January through April because that is one of their downtimes. But we'll see. The Yeti might finally be fixed here at Disney's Animal Kingdom on Expedition Everest. Let's go ride it. Although the standby is a very low weight, single rider is also a very low weight. We're gonna go right to the front and probably get on in like two minutes. I'm pretty sure last time I rode Everest I didn't need my face mask on. I could be wrong, but I thought Everest was an outdoor ride, but we need our face coverings on while riding Everest. I didn't even wait at all. Didn't wait at all. <laughs> Barely see the Yeti obviously right now, but he's on a support beam. 
and he hasn't been moving for I think 10 years so I think that's why they're going to be going down I can't really think of any other reason besides general maintenance but I think that's why they're going to be going down I could be wrong but it's, they're going to be down for four months so I feel like they're going to fix the Yeti finally it's just speculation my opinion just noticed right now we do have a uh, lightning lane update they have the fast pass plus sign covered here at Expedition Everest that should be changing soon and then also they have a nice like hand painted sign over here this was I believe not for Everest this was for their nighttime uh, show um, this should be changing as well when their new night nighttime show takes place most of y'all know this uh, this is for those who are new around here I film these videos the day before or the day of I'm filming this on Sunday and uh, it's uh, NFL season baby I was gonna be going to the Packer game out in Jacksonville but I couldn't find anybody to go with the tickets were super cheap it was like $200 for front row I elected not to go and just watch it at home but I'm gonna be flying out to Green Bay soon for one of their games um, I should have gone but I didn't but I want to go home to watch this video so I'm here in the morning filming this video so I can go watch the game Go pack, go baby. Comment down below your team. But we're going to go on something I usually don't ever go on because I'm actually prepared once in my lifetime for for rain. And obviously Cali River Rapids is a water ride, so I might as well go on Cali River Rapids since I have a rain jacket. Let's go on. I've only been on this once. Monkeys are really active here at 10.45. I always hear them across the park, but I never see them doing this. Cool. But yeah, for those who don't know, I'm a huge, huge Packers fan. I should have gone to the game, but I feel like I get a better experience on TV. I don't know. There's just the elephants. Just a heads up, they actually don't have a center pouch. The only dry spot where you can actually put your stuff is going to be the lockers, which we did last time. But I'm gonna bring my big camera on. Let's see if we get wet. Hopefully not. Here we go. Ah! Oh, cool. All right, it's not that wet. Low key, I'm a little nervous. A little nervous. We have entered the rapids. Hopefully she is kind to us today. Here we go. We're up. Oh! <laughs> I love this area because it's got a beautiful, beautiful look at Everest. We're coming to the drop. Oh! Oh boy. Don't make me go backwards. Oh boy! Here we go! Oh, it's a big drop! Oh! No! Oh! 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 my butt! My butt is soaked. Oh! We're just getting started! Let's go! You guys got soaked? <laughs> Oh no, the Jets! No! Oh, they turned off. That was nice. <laughs> Here we go. No, no, we got. We have to turn. Oh, uh, we got a little waterfall here. <laughs> oh, I love this ride actually. <laughs> Woo! And that's basically it. That's all she wrote. My big camera is okay. We didn't even get wet. Maybe a little bit, but we're good. You guys stayed dry. You guys are good. You're good. I feel we got as wet as you possibly could get wet because we did go down backwards. I mean, my shorts are kind of soaked. Camera's good. At least it's not as, as bad as the one at Universal's. Popeye's ride, you get absolutely demolished. This one's, this one's great. 
I love this ride because it gives me a lot of adrenaline. It, like, it gets me going. It gets me going. That's the ride you sometimes need. I might come on this every time now I come to Animal Kingdom. Wait, are these elephants free? Oh, the elephants are free? That's cool. At the end of the ride, I, I thought you had to pay for this. Because you usually have to pay for this. So you know, like Six Flags, Universal. But you just press this button and you can get people soaked. It's like a little shower at the end <laughs> to say you did it. Press the green button. I like that. That's cool. I wish it was a little bit more of a, a water burst at them. Look at these people. <laughs> That's cool. I really like how Cali exits out right by the jungle trek. It's my favorite place to go. Let's go. It's really cool. This area has been featured a lot on Disney Plus, so uh, you might see some areas that you recognize from a Disney Plus show. My favorite exhibit is the tigers, but keep in mind, uh, tigers sleep over 18 hours in a day, so if you see them up and walking, it's very rare. They're probably gonna be sleeping, but I just like to go through because it's so scenic. They're always sleeping. Always, always sleeping. I think these are water buffalo. I've never seen them this close. It's always very quiet over here. Also why I like to come in this area. Ooh. The countdown is almost complete. 18 days left until the 24th anniversary. 24th? What am I talking about? 50th? Wow! I'm dumb. <laughs> also, speaking of other countdowns, Tuesday we leave for Oogie Boogie. I think JoJo's gonna be joining me out to Disneyland as well. So uh, tomorrow I'll be leaving to Disneyland. Just met a couple of you guys. They're all the way from Puerto Rico and I love making fun of people who don't jump around. Poking fun of them, not making fun. It's really funny. Making our way over to the Lion King show. We haven't seen that in a hot second since it actually opened. Um, and ironically enough, they don't have the times up on the app. Oh, just kidding, they do, I'm an idiot. 11.30, we'll make it, I couldn't find it. There we go, we discovered it together. 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 1.33, and four. Hopefully we get an 11.30 show. It does seem a little bit crowded here today on Sunday. It might be a little bit TMI, but I feel like my shirt's so soaked, I, I just like went in a shower or something. I'm a little sweaty. It's kind of disgusting. It's Florida, though. For some odd reason, Animal Kingdom is really packed today. Safari's line is all the way down here. We've got about 15 minutes until showtime. Usually, when you show up this late, 15 minutes prior to uh, the show, you seat up really, really high, or sometimes you get lucky and you get front row because they'll fill in the ADA seats. Ooh, there's actually no eating or drinking in here as well. Masks need to be on. Oh, how nice. We're not that packed at all. I was scared we were gonna go way up there. We're good, we're good. Still wish I had a front row spot. Ugh. See those? If you show up late enough, they might be filling those. Seems like for the earlier of shows, they're not going to be full show, so you can show up a little bit later. I mean, it's a semi-packed day today, so keep that in mind. On a really packed day, obviously show up a little bit earlier, but I, this is great. It's like half capacity right now, and I'm actually sitting with some viewers right now, so it's kind of cool. And now, we proudly present a celebration of Festival of the Lion King.
this show. It was great having you with us. You were a lovely group, the best audience ever. Now, please get out. You well, you can totally tell, obviously, that it's uh, it's modified. It goes by pretty darn quick, and actually, the the seating filled up pretty quick as well. They were still filling as the show went on. So, um, but yeah, it's always good to watch that one. I'll just sing the whole time. Been keeping my eyes open today for those 50th Fab statues going on up. They're not quite here yet at Animal Kingdom. So far, just magic. Hopefully, within the coming days, we'll see them around here. There's only about like six statues going here, anyways. Well, my Packers play in a couple hours. I have to go home and edit. This takes about two hours to edit, and then it'll be game time. But thank you, everybody who said hi to me today. I can totally feel the love today. I met about like 80 of you guys, which is very exciting. And so it always brightens my day up. Like sometimes when I come and vlog inside the parks, I get very introvert, believe it or not. I was actually talking to a couple of parties about that. But then when you guys say hi, it's just like, oh, I'm ready to go. Um, so, but thank you guys for all your support. Real quick shout out to who's going to be the lucky one today. Jill Ricardo over on my Patreon. Thank you guys so much for supporting each and every single day. We have one day until we get to go to Disneyland and go to Oogie Boogie, which is going to be fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And that was it for your Daily Dose for Disney. Peace out. Go Pack Go, baby. Next time we come to Animal Kingdom, I'm definitely going to eat inside the Rainforest Cafe. I actually haven't eaten here in the longest time, probably like four years, five years. So that's gonna be next time for sure. Jump around! 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 Jump around!